Just one week after voters elected John Cranley Cincinnati mayor by a wide margin, there's an effort to call off the city's parking agreement with the Port, port Authority. The mayor-elect has just wrapped up a news conference with some members of council downtown. Local 12's Jeff Hirsch joins us live with the new twist. Jeff. Yeah, this new twist is right around the neck. The parking deal is dead. Uh, John Cranley and several of his council allies on the new incoming city council, which is different people, some different people than the old city council, just had a news conference here a few moments ago in the atrium of the Weston Hotel. And the way this deal was going to go is that the Port Authority had a, a contract with the city. The Port Authority was then going to lease out the uh, parking meters, the lots, and garages. $85 million up front to the city, plus $3 million a year for 30 to 50 years. Now, John Cranley and seven members of the new council wrote to the Port Authority saying, we don't like this deal, we want you to hold off on issuing the bonds, and that is exactly what's going to happen. Tomorrow, the Port Authority was going to issue the bonds. They are not going to do that. And then when the new council is sworn in on December 1st, they will then proceed to kill the entire privatization deal. Now, that sounds like a lot of money, $85 million up front and $3 to $5 million a year for the city. But John Cranley said, in reality, it's a very bad deal. And we don't need to sell off an asset in order to do so. In fact, if you think about how dangerous that precedent would have been, you know, they were going to use the money to paper over the deficit for two years. Well, then in year three, the deficit comes back and you no longer have the revenue that you had before. So it, it was just a, a, and this is not a decision of the port, this is a decision of the city. It was a horrible way to be responsible in the long term. Now, the question becomes if the city was going to have $85 million coming in for a variety of projects and that goes from $85 million to the big goose egg, what happens? Well, Cranley said you know, they will look into other city sources of city funds to try to come up with the money for some of the projects like the Martin Luther King Interchange uh, off of I-71, which a lot of people are in favor of. We're going to have more about this at 6, political implications, financial implications, all the implications, including how much it's going to cost you to park. Jeff Hirsch, live downtown, back to you. Good point. Thanks, Jeff. The parking plan would have covered about 4,900 metered parking spaces downtown and in the city's neighborhoods, five parking garages and four surface parking lots.